Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Last week, Carl was using a pilot-operated check valve to hold the heavy load on a vertical cylinder. What we found out is that while lowering the cylinder and with gravity acting on the heavy load, motion was uneven unless we imposed a restriction on oil flow leaving the bottom cylinder port. This made for very slow hydraulic cylinder speed, and this low speed might be just fine for some applications, such as outrigger cylinders on a crane. But if we need the vertically loaded cylinder to be lowered at a higher rate of speed, production speeds perhaps, we need a different solution. Let's change over to a counterbalance valve. Like the pilot operated check valve, the counterbalance valve has one, two, three main ports. The reverse flow check valve assembly for raising the cylinder is usually integrated into the counterbalance valve assembly. The counterbalance is a normally blocking pressure activated valve with an adjustable spring. When enough pressure is present on this internal pilot line, the poppet, represented by the arrow in the middle of the valve symbol, will be pushed towards the port connections, thereby allowing flow. When the spring is stronger, the poppet will be pushed towards the normally closed position once again. Like the pilot operated check valve, the counterbalance valve also has an external pilot line. And once again, no flow occurs on this pilot line. The pressure value from the cylinder port that is opposite to the one where we are controlling motion when lowering the cylinder is used to help dynamically adjust the setting of the counterbalance valve. Let's now observe what happens as we lower the hydraulic cylinder. The graph shows us that the cylinder speed is steady. Unlike the pilot operated check valve, which had only two states, open and shut, the counterbalance valve continuously modulates, makes small adjustments to the size of the valve opening. As the cylinder, under the influence of gravity, runs ahead a little and pressure in the top cylinder line drops, the counterbalance valve spring pushes the internal orifice more towards the closed position. When that occurs, a motion runaway is prevented and pressure immediately starts to build again on the top cylinder line, which increases the pilot pressure, which once again increases the size of the opening a little inside the counterbalance valve. All of these adjustments are very small and happen very quickly, so we perceive no uneven motion. And we sense no vibration in the machinery. It may not surprise you to find out that many manufacturers of counterbalance valves also refer to them as motion control valves or over center valves. The counterbalance valve prevents a runaway and still allows for production rate cylinder speeds to take place. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com. Thank you.